Thank you, Evelyn. Our next speaker is a senior information systems and technology major. She's a swimmer from Kinelon, New Jersey, Miranda Byrne. During her career at ODU, Miranda has earned conference academic honors, an NIC B-cut time in the 500 freestyle, and a trio of top 20 spots in the 100 and 200 freestyles. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miranda Byrne. Hello everyone. <laughs> my name is Miranda Byrne and I just finished my last season here with ODU Swimming. I'm a business information technology major and plan to graduate in May, specifically in 25 days. <laughs> uh, while I love counting down the days to wrap up my academic career at ODU, there is one amazing person that I don't want to count my last days down with. Obviously, since we're all here today, you all know that Michelle Mulek is a tremendous donor to ODU Athletics, and specifically to me. But what we don't know about Michelle is that she's an amazing confidant, mentor, and friend. While I only met her last year at this event, we have met up multiple times since, at sporting events, tailgates, and even for coffee at Cafe Stella. <laughs> Michelle helped me continue the sport I love at the collegiate level, and is also passionate about encouraging women in technology. I've learned a lot from Michelle by simply asking about her experiences and about navigating a male-dominant business sector as a female. From the moment I met Michelle, I was motivated to be like her in terms of my career and in spirit. She always has a smile on her face and has been at every meet this year, home meet, cheering me and my teammates on. Michelle is the biggest ODU sports fan that I know, personally, and spends most of her free time on campus cheering on athletics. In fact, I think she bleeds ODU blue. <laughs> Whoever follows me next year and has Michelle as their sponsor could not ask for a more accomplished, kind-hearted person to guide their path. Michelle, I will miss you tremendously and more than you can know when I move to Florida to begin my career in IT with Citibank, and I will be forever grateful for all that you've provided for me. I hope you know this won't be the last time you hear from me. <laughs> Please allow me to introduce Michelle Mulek. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> I was gonna, I did worry about seeing the people on the other side of the podium. Um, and I will just start with saying that um, Miranda and I did not share our speeches, but you will be amazed at how much they're similar. So first of all, thank you, Miranda, for that amazing introduction. I also wanna thank Jenna and the Athletic Foundation for inviting me to stand here today and tell you a little bit about my story. My story actually started several years ago when I made a random comment to Thomas DeMarco, as many of you know, when he worked for the Athletic Foundation. Thomas picked up that comment and ran with it. Next thing I knew, we were having conversations with Brett Smiley in the plan giving department. While we were sitting there having those conversations, Thomas talked about his opportunity sitting at this very same luncheon many years ago across from Barry Kornblau, who was his scholarship donor. He talked about what an impact it had on him to see him there and wanting to make sure that he made Barry proud and he didn't disappoint him since Barry was helping to fund his education. So that had a profound impact on me. So I decided to create a scholarship. My scholarship, as you may know now, is a, for a female student athlete majoring in technology. I graduated many, many years ago from ODU with a business degree in management information systems. That created a strong foundation for me for many of the successes I've had in my career. I've been in technology my entire career, and something very important to me is empowering women in technology and more importantly, keeping them in technology, which is a real challenge these days. Why an athlete? As Miranda mentioned, I'm a big sports fan. I challenged myself and actually made it to all 18 sports this year. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to be able to help a student athlete achieve their dreams is incredibly gratifying. Miranda is the first recipient of my scholarship. What started out as a financial transaction has actually turned into so much more. 
We met at this very same luncheon for the first time in November of 2021, the last time we had it. We exchanged cell phone numbers. We took a few photos over there in front of the banner and went on our way. So I went back and I looked at our text messages and it started out very slowly. One of the first ones was, hey, I'm looking for an internship. Let me know if you can help. <laughs> I, did, I wasn't able to help, but she did get an internship last summer with Town Bank. We started, though, exchanging text messages more frequently, checking in on each other, saying hi during the holidays. She told me all about her trip to England last summer. We invited her to the football tailgaters. She met a ton of ODU fans and alumni. But maybe one of the highlights was when I went to the blue-gray scrimmage for the swim team, and I met her mom and her brother, Joanne and Nick. Later in another meet, I met her father, David. Truly one of the highlights. We now have exchanged phone numbers and we text and check in on each other and say hi over the holidays. But as Miranda mentioned, we do find ourselves at Cafe Stella on occasion having coffee on a Sunday morning. And she'll, we'll talk about what it's like to be in the business world. She'll pick my brain. She asks amazing questions. How do you manage your emails? How do you make sure that you're a voice at the table? all very important things that I know she'll take with her into her professional career, which starts this summer at Citibank in Tampa. I can honestly say, maybe a little bit later in life than for most people, I've finally found my purpose and my why. ODU is my passion and what is what keeps me motivated to work every day and face my daily challenges in my life. I'm honored to have, to sit, have such an amazing person to get to know through this process. We have developed a friendship I know will last a lifetime. So in closing, I have a couple of thoughts. Donors, open yourselves up to these athletes and scholarship recipients. Share your phone number. Let them know you're there. Be willing to give some advice, mentor, coach, maybe even phone a friend for them. And as student athletes and scholarship recipients, you have an amazing group of people sitting in this room who have a wealth of knowledge experience and connections. Networking is key and it all begins with relationships. So take advantage of these relationships. Reach out to them, introduce yourself. You never know when a connection or a relationship will help you down the road. So thank you ODU for this amazing opportunity for me to give back and gracing me with an amazing Miranda and her family. I am forever grateful. Go Monarchs. Thank you. Thank you, Miranda and Michelle.